Hello everyone, welcome back to Pabli. So in today's video, we will understand how to create social media posts using open router. So here let's assume that I have a Google Sheet where I've added the post title or the caption for the post. So my objective is that whenever I will add a new post title or caption, so I wish to generate the post content automatically. So here by using open router, I will generate the post content automatically. So once the post content is generated, I wish to create it as a post for my Facebook page. So now to do this, I need to build an integration between these applications for which I will be using Pabli Connect where my trigger application will be Google Sheets and my action applications will be Open Router and Facebook. So here you can use any other social media application as well. So to learn more about this integration, follow me through the screen. In this video, we will understand how to create social media posts using Open Router. So here my objective is that whenever I will add a caption for a post in this Google Sheet in a new row, then I wish to generate the post content automatically by using open router. So once the post content is generated, then I wish to create it as a post on my Facebook page. So now to do this, I need to build an integration between these applications for which I will be using this amazing integration and automation software that is Pabli Connect. So here as an existing user, I'm going to sign in. But if you are a new user, you can click on the sign up for free button and you will get 100 tasks for free every month. So as an existing user, I'm going to sign in. So now this here is the all applications page by Pabli. So here I will go to Pabli Connect and click on access now to reach my dashboard. So this here is my dashboard and to create a new workflow, I will go to my right hand side corner and click on this create workflow button. So now in this dialog box appearing, I'm going to give my workflow a name. So here I've named it as create social media posts using open router. So here on my left hand side, you can see that these are the folders that I've created before. So I want to save this workflow in the folder named as open router and here I'm going to click on create. So as I did that, now I have arrived on a very important window which consists of trigger and action. Basically trigger and action are the two most important principles or concepts of Pabli Connect on which this entire automation and integration will depend. Trigger says when this happens, action says do this. So as my use case suggests, that is to create social media posts using open router. So here I want to create the post for my Facebook page. So moving to my trigger window, as I've added the post title or caption in my Google Sheets, so my trigger application will be Google Sheets and here it is. So now the trigger events will be new or updated spreadsheet row. That means this trigger will start working whenever a new spreadsheet row will be added or updated. So as I did that, here you can see that a webhook URL is given and along with that a help desk is given. So read this help desk given below carefully because this webhook URL will act as a bridge for you to connect your Google Sheets account with Pabli Connect. So now let me take you to the Google Sheet which I have created. So this here is the Google Sheet that I have created. It consists of two columns. One is of the post or caption and another one is of generated post content open router. So here the Google Sheet name is Post Spreadsheet and it consists only of one sheet. So now as in order to connect this Google Sheet with Pabli Connect, here I will go to Extensions. And now in Extensions, you must have this Pabli Connect Webhook extension. If you don't have it, you can simply go to Get Add-ons. And here in the search bar, you can search for Pabli Connect Webhooks. Here it is. So as I've already installed this extension, so it says installed, you can also follow the same process to install this extension. So I will close this. Now again, I will go to extensions, go to Pabli Connect Webhooks, and then I will go to initial setup. So here in this initial setup, I need to mention the webhook URL and the trigger column. So for webhook URL, I'm going to take you to Pabli Connect and from here, I'm going to copy the same. And now here in this webhook URL, I'm going to paste it. And now moving to the trigger column. So the trigger column is the final data column on which the data is added. So I will be adding the post or caption in the A column that is for the post or caption column. So over here, I'm going to add the data. So then my trigger column will be the A column over here and I'm going to click on submit. So once this is done here, you can see that the setup is configured successfully. I will close this. So here the connection has been established. But I want that whenever I will add the post or caption for a new post over here in this new row, 
then automatically the details of that post or caption should be sent to Pabli Connect. So here in extensions, I'm going to Pabli Connect Webbooks once again and then I will go to send on event. So here I'm going to refresh the page as this is an important part. So here now I'm going to add a caption for my new post that will be how to enhance your room decor. And now I want that the post content should be generated automatically by using open router. So firstly, let me take you to Pabli Connect. Over here, I have received a response. So over here, you can see the trigger column, which I've mentioned as A. Here is the spreadsheet name. Here is the spreadsheet ID, sheet name, sheet ID, row index, along with the post or caption, which I've added. So that means the details of the new row is successfully captured over here in Pabli Connect. So the first objective of this automation is set up. That means now whenever a new row will be added in Google Sheets, then automatically the details of that row will be captured over here in Pabli Connect. So this trigger will instantly capture the new incoming data and the workflow execution will start in real time. So as in the response received, I have got the caption for my post. Now I want that an automated post content should be generated for the same. So here in my action window, I'm going to search for open router. Here it is. And now the action event will be create chat completions. Now I need to establish a connection between open router and Pabli connect. So here I'm going to click on connect. So now to add a new connection, I need to mention the token. So read this instruction given below carefully because this will help you to get the token. So here in this open router account of mine, as soon as I will click on this create key, I will get the token. So now here I'm going to click on this create key and now I'm going to name my key as new and now I'm going to click on create. So this here is my key. I have copied it and now I'm going to paste the same over here and now I will click on save. So here in this HTTP referrer, Enter any AI site URL here to identify the app. So let me take this URL that is given in example itself. So I'm just copying it and here I'm going to paste the same, removing the space. So now moving to the model, this here is the latest model that I've selected. So now moving to the other details over here, the role is of the user. So now moving to the content user. So provide the content as per the role. So here I need to give a prompt. So I'm giving it as write short content for Facebook post and now here from the response received I'm going to map the caption so basically mapping is to insert the data from previous steps so here I'm going to map this now once this is done I'm going to click on save and send test request to see the response So here in the response received, this is the content that is generated for my Facebook post. So as I've got the content automatically by using open router, now I wish to create this as a post on my Facebook page. So to do that, I'm going to click on this add action step button. And here I'm going to search for Facebook page as my action application and here it is. And now the action events will be create page post. So here I need to establish a connection between Facebook pages and Pabli Connect. So I've already logged into my Facebook account in one of the tabs. So here to add a new connection, I'm simply going to click on connect with Facebook page because I've already logged into my Facebook account and the authorization is successful. So moving to the page and the message. So here, this is the page that I've created by the name of home decor. So here in Pabli Connect, firstly, I'm going to select the page as home decor. Here it is. And now here I will add the message. So firstly, I'm going to add the title that is how to enhance your room decor. And after that, I wish to add the post. So from open router response that I've received, I'm going to map the post content. So here I've mapped the caption along with the post content. So this method of mapping is important so that every time you receive a new response with new data, so that data can be taken into consideration in these fields. If I would have written this information manually, in that case, this information would have become static, which means that it wouldn't change even if I would have received new response. So to avoid that problem, we map the information. So here I'm going to click on save and send test request. 
So here the response that I've received is a positive one. Now I will take you to my Facebook page. And here in my page, you can see that a post has been created for my page automatically. So this here is the title and this here is the content for the post. So this integration and automation was a successful one. Now, whenever a caption will be added in Google Sheets new row, then automatically by using open router, the post content will be generated and then it will be created as a post on your Facebook page. So here you can use any other social media application as well. Not just these applications, you can integrate a lot more applications with the help of Pabli Connect. So if you have any doubts regarding Pabli, reach us at support at And if you have any queries, you can visit us at forum.pabli.com. If you have any pricing related query, you can visit this link. So if you like this video, please share it with your friends and colleagues and do not forget to like, share and subscribe our channel.